going on, Cowboy Nation? It's your boy, Ken Tassik. Uh, you know, we, we got, got taken to the woodshed today against the Denver Broncos. Probably arguably the best defense in the league. Um, <laughs> no fly zone, definitely. They stopped the run. They shut it down. They shut Zeke completely down. Penalties, injuries, um, playing in a raucous place in the altitude of that stadium or Denver being in Denver itself. You, it's uh, it's hard to win up there. I can see why Denver has been so successful, which I kind of already knew, but I felt that we had a chance. But you know, I know I said we would probably win by you know double digits, but we got whooped by 25, and it's not a good feeling to, you know, to, to, to get beat in a fashion like that. Um, you know, especially being a division foe in the New York Giants um, a week ago tonight. The, the one thing I will take from this game I would say we got to look in ourselves in the mirror. Well, they need to look themselves in the mirror and actually understand that, you know what, it ain't going to get no easier. And you have to really, really dig down deep and within each other to make sure this don't ever happen again. This is a, hum this is a humble pie that we probably needed. Um, we were so high. On pretty much going through the season, first part of the season, you know, breathing through. I know I did. I'm be I'm gonna be the first to admit. I really felt that we could beat Denver, but obviously we <laughs> wasn't even close. Even with the weather delay, Von Miller kicked Lyle Collins' ass. Chris Wolf was eating just stud study eating Ezekiel Elliott. A key to Lieb and Chris Harris and. The other corner that they got uh, for the Broncos, um, shut. I mean, they just they shut our guys down. Plain and simple. Play calling sucked. It's too vanilla. Um, defense looked gassed out there. Like I said, the injuries to our secondary. Nolan Carroll got beat repeatedly to the point where he ended up not having one but two concussions in this game. So I'm not sure if he's even going to play the next two games. Uh, Ch Chidobe Awuze, um has a hamstring. So we don't know if he's going to play Monday night against the, the Char I mean not Chargers, against the Cardinals out in, out in Glendale, Arizona. Jordan Lewis was able to get a pick. You know, Tane Lawrence was able to get two sacks and a fourth strip fumble. And, of course, um, Malik Collins got the recover, which... Led to death, touchdown, you know, catch on to lead. But other than that, we just got our butts kicked all the way around. We, the Cowboys, they they ultimately, ultimately failed this game all the way around. But give credit is due to the Denver Broncos. Um, y'all just, <laughs> y'all whooped the skin off of us. So, but, uh, but I want to thank you for doing what y'all did because what it did was exposed us and hopefully the Cowboys can learn from it. We do need a veteran cornerback. It ain't just Skandrick. You got to get somebody that's been there that know how to mold these young guys into being good corners. I ain't saying being great corners, but being good corners. That means if you have to call up Revis to get them off the couch, then that's what you got to do. So with that being said, um, I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, there's nothing more I can really say. Shout out to the whole Bronco Nation out there. Shout out to the whole Cowboy Nation out there. Um, I'm out. How about them Cowboys?